Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining to another video um, with your host, Andrea Aguirre. But today, we're going to be talking about how Wendelin Brooks impacted her community through her poetry and literature. Who am I before we get started? I am a creative writer, <clears throat> graduate student from SDSU with a bachelor's degree in the English field, who also did multiple research on how African Americans impacted their community through their literature. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about how Wendelin Brooks impacted her community through poetry. What is poetry? Poetry is a form of literature in which an individual expresses their emotions, and experience they had, an event, historical, or maybe something about something something that they faced. But it relates with um, metaphors, symbolism, stances and lines, with some rhythm on it, if you will like. But mostly, it. It's a beautiful form of art in which it lets individual share these ideas to the audience and impacts them emotionally and intellectually. So today we have three questions in which I'll be explaining more with more details about. But our first question is, what is considered a standard factual history overview of Wendelin Brooks and her poetry and the relevance to the American African American community in the past? So Wendelin Bruce was born in Topensa, Kansas. She was a poet and educator who found the black identity as profound and beautiful. According to Jaster's article, one of her interviews she had, she expressed how poetry is distilled, meaning that her poetry embedded with the black identity has a lot of meaning. It's, it's strong and powerful. It holds meaning to her. And that's what she was, that's, all those poems that she had was expressed through her community in, in Chicago and, and the black identity as well. Again, she um, she was a poet and an educator. She was an educator by wor working on workshops. She was involved in the black and the um, <clears throat> and the Black Rangers Power community, and she she was involved in workshops around with twelve members. She recited with them. She expressed her ideas, her ideas and their ideas through poetry. She went to prison cells and and recited with the prisoners and she didn't find any any fear with them she found humanity in the worst places <clears throat> she also was impacted by others um Lacey huge was huge part of her life at the age of 13 huge told her to to follow her dreams to keep her talent and that's what she did she um she enforced her poems involved with a black identity with love. One of the poems was called "We Real We Real Cool," and when she it involved the it spoke about the ghetto, the frustration, and inspiration they had of being upheld by the white community. <clears throat> and again, that is how it has impacted her community. She even won a Pulitzer Prize on how because of how great her poetry was, <clears throat> and that's how that's how she impacted her her community. What has my research revealed about today's approach, um, Wendelin Brooks and her poetry in the black community? According to PBS, they um they stated how the Center of Black Literature um honor Wendelin Brooks for her poetry. But this model of the Center of the Black Literature was also involved in the Center of Black Literature at Megars Ibar College, in which they created a center for the black individuals, for black writers, to express their ideas, to write their ideas, the, the major issues and major themes they faced, in order to enforce their creativity, in order to keep up with their dreams. And and that is the beauty of Winston Brooks and her poetry, because she wanted to help those who wanted to become great poets. And that's what they're doing at this moment. Our third question is what is needed for further our understanding about the complexities of Wendelin Brooks and her poetry and the impact of the future of the African American community. So according to Kalisha Tries, she explains five reasons and how black history, black poetry and literature has impacted their communities. One of them is that it upholds their history. The second one is it goes against the stereotypes we face every day. Third is they give us a different perspective from our culture. Um, fourth is they represent something that a lot of schools do not teach you. They do not teach you about the feelings and the historical event that we're facing during that moment. They don't tell you about um, these emotions that we're trying to express to the audience. But if you read them, you are able to expand your intellectual, but even relate to the individual or just understand their feelings. 
And lastly, it represents the people of color in the literary um, sphere, sorry. Today, we are faced with COVID-19 and again, a, a different way in which poetry is so important is because today's day, a lot of individuals are faced with fear. Um, they see a lot of events, a lot of deaths and again one day when once this is over this poetry will be empowered in the black community because they will be expressing their emotions and their feelings and these events they face to the audience that they didn't that they didn't that they weren't exposed to but they will they will understand or maybe learn from it and it's because of poetry this beauty of poetry that Wendelin brooks had in her past but how it has impacted in today's day before we end this video, I want to show my references. Um, I do have a couple of references right here. So what else that I have? And again, thank you so much for listening, guys. I hope to see you soon.